Hey guys, so today we're making a vegan mushroom Swiss impossible burger. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. And so I am using two packs of the impossible uh, burger meat substitute and I'm just seasoning up uh, the meat. You can use whatever seasonings you want. I'm using an all purpose seasoning. I probably should have just used something simple like salt and pepper because you know those herbs and things in um, the seasoning that I'm using, those can burn in the pan. So just use some simple seasonings for it. And now I'm just adding in some A1 steak sauce because this will add some additional flavor and it'll help keep the burger moist. And then I'm adding in some mustard and about maybe a half a cup of some oatmeal just to help bind the burger and it'll help keep it moist as well. So after you mix your meat, you're gonna form your hamburger patties. And so you can make it to whatever size you want. I made mine pretty big because I wanted it to fit the size of my bun. I'm using a brioche bun. And so just form your patties uh, just like this, about this size. So after you form your patties, you wanna put some olive oil in a pan and put a generous amount of olive oil in there. And then you're gonna add your patties and brown them on each side for about five minutes, um, just until they're brown. And then you're gonna take them out of the pan and put them on a paper towel just to get some of the excess oil off of them. Now I'm gonna saute some onions and some mushrooms. Um, this is just one package of mushrooms and then half of a yellow onion and so I'm just gonna saute this until the onions are translucent and the mushrooms are nice and tender and so you want to make sure you season your onions and mushrooms I'm just using salt and pepper keep it simple so now I'm just adding my mushroom and onion mixture on top of my burger Feel free to put an additional slice of cheese on top of the patty and then add your mushroom and onion mixture and then add some more cheese if you like it super cheesy. But I'm just using the Daya provolone slices because I couldn't find a dairy-free Swiss cheese at my local store. And so I did end up ha having to put it in the microwave because y'all know this vegan cheese just does not melt. Um, and so I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds or until it melted. And now I'm just putting some vegan mayo on a brioche bun. I toasted my buns. I put a little bit of vegan butter on there and toasted it on, uh, on the griddle pan. And then I'm using the Hellman's vegan mayo. You can find that at Walmart. I've also seen it at Target. And so now I'm adding some barbecue sauce. You can use your favorite barbecue sauce or some steak sauce, your choice. Um, and then this is pretty much it. I'm putting my burger on there and then I'm gonna add some extra onions and mushrooms um, to that. And that is it, y'all. I'm serving it with some fries that I made in the air fryer. Um, but my husband really enjoyed this burger. So did my daughter. And so I hope you guys tried this recipe. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate the support. Thanks. Bye.